Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. On the previous video, we had to basically, practically, in quotations, escape leeway due to the fact that someone actually killed Rex Lapis. And we had to go through all the Adepti, and we met Xiao, Yo, P, I don't even know her name, Kiki, can you please shut the hell up? No one likes you, be quiet, you're a five star. Anyway, guys, if, <laughs> if, you, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into the video. Uh, bring it. Feel free bring to it, look around. It. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. <gasps> uh. But the Monster volume was so interesting. Bummer. The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. Why does she know that she hasn't slept in like so long? It barely sold any copies. And the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? Chang? A book collector who lives in Qingse Village. He's a complete grouch. But he will behave himself if the conversation oh. is about books. I love that He was song. a regular customer in here back Chang, when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is that... what's wrong? Look at my guy's face. My guy. Did you see... who's this? Is that Venti? Who is that? Is there a chance that Volume 6 Who of the Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Bro! That is my face right there. Look at Paimon's face. That's my face right there. Who the Lots hell is this guy? My, manners. my name is Sing Cho, a humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I <laughs> are both hell? in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Jingsa and pay a oh, visit to Chen Oh, hell Chen no. My pleasure, fellow book lover. Who is this guy? What the hell? But anyway, guys, quest starting. Let's get, let's do it. Let's get it. Is this Chang? Are you Chang? You're Chang. Chang with the long uh, wang. The heavens are smiting me, smiting me to smithereens. Uh huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. This guy's got a nice jawline. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Uh, not really, no, but uh, Wrong. uh cool. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them, and, and now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> it's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right. How did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare. I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. A hey, Chang! You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? 
I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Who is this guy? Oh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. Ooh. <sighs> you... Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Bro, this guy laughs like some weirdo. Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in <laughs> this day and age. <laughs> Chill, bro. Oh, there was me thinking the last grand dads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingcho, vow to repay this great act of Xingcho. generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but. I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. She? She's right here. So, you like reading, huh? Mr. Five Second Hero. Ho oh, ho, amazing. I never saw that coming. Hello, Xingcho? Anybody Xingcho? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> That guy back at Chang the Nice was pretty bossy. How can they bully poor old Chang the Nice like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple. Um. Why do you give up on your book search so lightly? Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I'm in every word I said to Cheng the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball. What the? Man. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Why I is there a mage? Clan? I oh yeah, fair enough. They are working with the Fatui. There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. <laughs> Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. It's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. <laughs> I thought that was just...
just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. You won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? So you're a vision bearer yes. then? Though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business. And I... It's not like the Ooh, Batui to pick sides in a business dispute. But the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. Ah, uh, yes. He mentioned Gentry Maltai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works. But what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Wow. So that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh. This guy is so annoying. Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face. <laughs> Fine. But, as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known as... Guha Geek. <laughs> That is a uh, very interesting name you would uh, give to one of the, uh, the whatever your name is. What Xing Xingxi? I am going to drown. Okay, be careful, cause uh, I always drown. Like it's it's just uh, it's a thing that happens. So uh, okay, 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 let's go, let's go. All right, let's head over to this guy. Study Wu. Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The master is dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? What does it mean? Uh, the master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Just anyone? Uh, no. I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. Please, believe me. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Ooh. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Hmm. Nice Is that easy? work. Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. Is that so? Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue Kiosk. Shinue Kiosk. business is kiosk. booming at the Shinue Kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. I understand. Whoa. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Oh, is that the Fatui? Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Who is that? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis, but it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. You may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you. 
don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man Chang. Long oh, Wang. Heaven. Yeah, Chang boys. So, Why did let us like pop ready to fight? What the hell? Is colluding with the Who knows if Gula Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Long oh, Wang. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> you know, just, just to avoid that in the future, I'm actually gonna switch to official because um. Uh, I don't want to hear that coming from like I don't know, even know how how old is uh, Kiki? I don't even know. Hey, you! Is that person still reading the book? You said you had other things to look into, as if you're some sort of man of mystery, when actually all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your backside while you read your book. I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do, my liege. For reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. Uh... Hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big wig commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and gentry Mautsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is also I do I not keep wish to the know hell? of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Chain the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Ample Each reward. Each of kindness I receive, I am duty bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That All sounds right. very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? That is true. Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you. Nearly only I don't care. Official <laughs> so. Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. I didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Clout. Bruh. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power... Wait, he wasn't even looking at us. What the hell? It will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. Oh, no. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Oh, for God's Finally, sake. 
there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, oh boy. and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that. Yeah, of one of them. We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many more. With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month. Well, um, that's not a good idea because uh, we can't need that money to buy the core lapis. <laughs> Well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. <sighs> the Fane Commerce oh Guild will handle Spoiling. the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Ah, uh, yes. Gotta hand it to Guhuagi. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. What the hell's the store? Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang. All my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. That said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Then let the Feiyun Commerce Guild take it off your hands. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh... <laughs> Nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Contract? Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. I thought you were here to purchase Snezh Nyan products. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezh Nyan. I don't do retail. Oh, Too much really? hassle, not enough return. Sorry. So you're rejecting the Fame Commerce's Guild's business? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Oh, uh, I know this guy as well. This is the guy that uh, this is the guy that I also met in uh, a couple right. videos ago. I'll do it. I'll link it up there Just right here. Need right you here. to sign for it. Clearly, no shortage of cash flow in Liu. Yes, take the cash that is not even mine. The other one's down there. Let's uh, catch his hand. Oi! Shh! Keep your voice down. Oh no, it's this guy again? Long uh, Wang? If it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. <laughs> this is going well. Everything's so much easier when you've got stacks of Mora. Next of up, course. the chasm. Oh, we're gonna go all the way to, uh, Thingy. Where the hell is this? There's a hilly trail there, which I am going to casually avoid. Uh, I said casually avoid, not fight. Oh, it's chest. I'll take this chest. Hand it over, please. Woohoo! Oh! Got the, um... This guy to talk to. Wait, so why would you put a, a store all the way over here when, like... No one is like, you know, around. You know, it's very interesting, but uh, Hello it is what there. it is. Are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha! Finally, I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Liu Harbor. As it happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours if you name the right price. How much does it cost? Well, the original buyer's price was already quite high, so. Hmm. The best I can do is seven million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than a hundred thousand mora on the rest of Leo's stock put together. It says a hundred thousand mora, but it says two million on the I'm afraid else. it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. Oh, well then. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. All right, all right. We'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. Seven million more. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, hmm. <laughs> surely there's no need for that. Maybe you should think twice before in front of him. Please, or whatever. don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, that is true. all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. 
I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I, I don't want any trouble with the guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. Oh, great. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. Well, if you find them, then we can get it for free, so, am I right? So, maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Oh, thank you very much. That's yes, that, you're then. welcome. Well, no time to lose. Come on! Yeah, let's go. Wait. But why the hell would we need to, like, pay for it if, like, we just found it? You huh? get what I'm saying? You know, you know. There's also a Geo, but I can't really bother to get it, honestly. Huh? Like, I just... It's right there, but it's just so... It, it looks easy to get, but huh? in reality, it's so difficult to get. Watch me, like, eat my own words when I actually manage to pick this up in first try. Okay, so I got up here. Turn left. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay, I I just ate my own words, I think. Alright, where are these hilly churros breaking these cards? Wait, the, if it's right here, then why are you literally, like, complaining, saying the hilly churros haven't done anything? They're literally right here. Literally. Like, what the hell? It's not even that hard. Like, they're literally right here. The cart's literally right here. Yes, the core lapis is right there. Now I probably have to go... Oh, never mind. There is uh, much more to find. Oh, that rhymed. That rhymed too. What the hell? Long oh, wang. Core lapis is hardly a rare mineral. And yet suddenly the stocks dry up. Just like that. We are not persecuting you. But protecting another. One to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice... It is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush, master, if you please. Seize their Corlapis! <laughs>
That was from your private vault? It was but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Appearances can really be deceiving, You are yes. too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Me? Why are you looking at me? Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <laughs> Paimon's toast! And sorry, very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. Oh. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill! Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much of life, I did nothing, my bad. and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, Stepped in and saved the day. Of to course. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My, my lord, liege. Uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Ooh. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just a lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? The the the, the a reward? book. Reward? Hmm. Well, that sweet. Yeah, the book. Somewhat. I think. Ah, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Yep, see ya. Uh, I don't really care about you anyway, to be honest. I just had to do it for the quest. Return to the legend of the Shattered Halberd to, to its rightful owner. Alright, let's go. What up, my guy Chang? Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled oh. me. Oh. Do people really look down on the Guhua clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. Hmm. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard Ugh. to attract budding young talent to a dying art. Fresh and blood. so Ugh. it becomes a vicious... Even thinking about that is giving me shakes, bro. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiu, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume of yeah, it's yours it to, to keep. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation. My ore is sold and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Uh, what? what? What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh, nothing, nothing. That little rascal surely isn't. Oh, does he know? Does he know now that that the hair or whatever the thing is? I don't even know. But yeah, quest complete. Woohoo! Finally. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video right here. After we finish the quest, uh, I do have another quest of this. It is the Arkham quest, but I will be saving that for the next video. 
Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future Genshin Impact content. Anyways guys, this is Silix, and I'm signing out.